This is Storiel, Bangor's rather wonderful and very eclectic museum, where, for a little while, among the artefacts and cases, there's a real-life sculptor, not in a case. The palette knife becomes an extension of the hand, and the, the focus, yeah, presumably the rest of the world just sort of evaporates. It's just my hand, the tools, and the clay, and the surface of the clay, and what's in front, and... Cleared here is working on a crown that'll become part of a sculpture outside the museum in a room full of crowns. Is the difficulty knowing what to add or when to stop? The original King of Bards is coronets made from 100% pure tin. Meanwhile, Wales's newest crown is shaping up nicely. It just concentrates in the moment. So you just, it's just a, a relationship between your, your clay and what's in front of you. Yeah, we're not really a hatted age, are no, no, we, right it. now? It's very kind of ceremonial now and for important special occasions. So if you think of any time you've ever wore a hat, it's always somebody's wedding, some sort of, you know, cap and gown, getting a degree, all of those kind of special moments. So we're hoping people will come with their special moment hats or help create some fabulous ones. And it isn't that long ago that being hatless was unheard of. This is Victorian health and safety headwear at its very finest. Do you think we'll ever go back to the hat? I think it's a fashion item, so I think we probably will. Anyway, the finished, massive hat-inspired sculpture will soon take its place outside the museum. You won't be able to miss it, just don't try to wear it, that's all. Rob Shelley, ITV News, Bangor.